What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. My name is Richard and today I'm gonna tell you how I replaced my social media addiction with coding and stopped wasting all my time on TikTok, Instagram and YouTube. I'm pretty sure most of you watching know exactly what I'm talking about. You're laying in your bed and scrolling through TikTok or Instagram and before you know it, two hours just went by, just like that. And maybe even you right there watching this video right now just realized that you maybe should take a break from watching videos. But it's really no surprise though. Half of Earth's population is using social media and over 95% of all teenagers have a smartphone today, so obviously social media addiction rates are skyrocketing right now. And a couple years back, in the last year of my apprenticeship, I used to know this feeling very well and still, I didn't do anything about it. My days began with me grabbing my phone, immediately opening Instagram and starting to scroll some reels in the morning. Then I eventually got up, went to work and even there, I took extra long toilet breaks to have some more time scrolling through TikTok. And after I came home, I just threw myself on the bed or the sofa and kept going. Whenever I had a free minute, I started scrolling. I had to be constantly entertained and also my attention span shortened drastically. And after an entire day of scrolling, I had a screen time of over 10 hours it got really bad and also I started neglecting going to the gym because I was too bored to get up and get ready and walk 5 minutes. But the worst part about this is that I never really considered this a problem. I always thought that oh well everybody does it because my friends were sending me reels all the time so I never really saw the point of stopping. So all of this went on for a couple of months until I realized that I'm wasting my life. Like literally wasting it. Because after scrolling so many hours through Instagram and TikTok and YouTube and whatever else, I didn't know nothing about what I just watched. This form of entertainment is just so crazy because we don't remember a thing of what we watched. Or do you remember what kind of TikToks you watched this morning? Heck, an hour ago? Probably not. At least I don't. And at some point I actually thought I was going crazy. I don't know if you guys had this before, but I was on Instagram, I closed the app, thought I'll do something else now and open it again, like a reflex. And then I realized that, well, I actually might have a problem. So I stopped. I deleted Instagram and TikTok from my phone and it felt absolutely amazing for about five minutes. Then I had no idea what to do with all my time and became super bored. And you know, I was in my last year of my software development apprenticeship and I did know how to code and do my job mostly good, but I wasn't really good at coding. At this point, I had never even built my own app, which wasn't just a simple WordPress website or something like that, because I didn't like coding very much. It was just a job for me. Since I started my apprenticeship, my mom always bothered me and asked me if I could make a documentation app for her practice, but I always refused and told her that I was too tired from work or any other excuse, basically. But then one day I was so bored, I even started watching TV. I thought, why not give it a shot? And it was actually way harder than I thought because I had never set up a project with a bigger framework before. But after some hours of trial and error, I figured it out eventually. And to be honest, it felt completely different from work. I never had this, okay, cool, what's next feeling. But instead I was motivated to keep going and create this app. And for the first time, coding didn't feel like work anymore. It felt like a project I really cared about and it wasn't something I had to do, it was something I really wanted to do. And this was truly one of the biggest changes in my life because instead of going home and killing time until I go to bed, I actually had something I liked to do and didn't feel guilty after doing it for a couple of hours. And also I created something real every day and more important, something I could be proud of. And one of the nicest moments to this day was when I finished my app and saw my mom using it, replacing all these old paper cards she used for the last 10 years to document patient info. And that's when I realized that I wasn't coding to avoid boredom anymore, I was creating something valuable, something that would make someone else's life easier and this feeling was just so much better than scrolling scrolling through endless content. So not only did I finally make the app for my mom, I also became a much better developer in the process. Creating a complete app from scratch just forces you to touch every single aspect of it and that surely helped me with completing my final exams with pretty good grades. And looking back I can say that this project really brought me to where I am today. Only three years later I'm in a new company working on super complex business applications every day and I know for a fact that I wouldn't have been able to do this if I didn't start coding for myself. So if you're also feeling stuck and constantly scrolling through social media, I challenge you to try something new. Whether it is coding, learning a new skill or just working on a passion project of yours. Just give it a shot and see how much more fulfilling it can be to work on something you can be proud of rather than just consuming. I know that it's not easy to stop using social media just like that. And it's also not what I'm doing right now. I downloaded Instagram again and I'm definitely scrolling through reels sometimes, 
but it's definitely much more controlled than what it used to be. Meanwhile, my screen time sits at one to two hours per day, which is completely fine for me. And the very cool browser extension that helped me to escape the endless YouTube algorithm is called Unhooked. It's removing all your recommended videos and your start page, which means that you really have to choose what you want to watch. I often review my subscription list to make sure I only see the stuff I really want to see. And while you're at it, don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more of my content. Now, if you watch till the end, you have a much bigger attention span than I had a while ago. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, please consider subscribing because it really helps me out a lot. Let me know your opinion about this topic down in the comments. And if you have any questions, go ahead. I'll try to answer all of them and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.